as promised in the how to build a boat in one month video, here's the story on how I got that boat to fly. My goal was to get the boat and two people airborne with a three horse motor. I figured with the limited power I had, it was just a matter of making the foils big enough to get airborne at the speeds that the boat was doing. I modified and cut down the centre section of the centre of the hull that I'd made in the original boat. I started off with two parallel foils with a ratchet arrangement along the side of the boat so I could hook them in in different positions and at different heights. In these pre-3D printer days, it was a tedious process trying to create a, an accurate foil section. I created the skins of the foils by laying up two layers of 600 gram biaxial in the plywood moulds I'd made. It's all done with epoxy resin. The side arms were glassed up with ratchet blocks and fibreglass and bonded to the foils. Eager to test my first creation, I went down to the water with Toby to test the one foil. It worked alright. The bow shot a metre out of the water, even with my son in the front seat. We started taking water in from the back. We needed to lower the motor before we could put a foil under the back of it. So, time to try it out with two foils. Worked great. The boat was flying 200 millimetres above the water and smooth over other people's wake, it's like you were flying. We were. But it was unstable. It was a real balancing act to keep the thing upright. If you let go of the tiller, you'd fall over. So it was back to the drawing board. I turned the parallel foils into V-shaped foils. This made a big difference. It was a lot more stable. The ride was good. It didn't travel much faster than without the foils. The lumps of plywood that connected it to the boat caused a lot of drag. But the ride was smooth. Looked a little strange, but it worked. Another beautiful morning on the Noosa River. Thanks for watching.